this is uh, this is getting ready for the show at Tate Britain. Um, paintings uh, from right now going back to uh, um, 1989. Yeah, this is. Um, I wouldn't say it's early work because uh, my early work is really from uh, earlier days, <laughs> um, the early 80s. Uh, this is uh, late 80s, so this is kind of. Um, say, seven years after I left St. Martin's, which is my BA. Trying to get the, the groupings right. I mean, I wanted to bring paintings together that um, I haven't seen together for a long time. Like these, you know, these three paintings were made in my, in my, my father's uh, shed in, in Canada um, in 1994, I think it was, for the first gallery show I did in New York. So we kind of tried to want to make a dark, a dark room. <laughs> At the moment it's not looking too dark, but it's... Uh, these are paintings um, I made in the early, early 90s as well. Yeah, so the idea was to have a dark room, and then the dark room would go into this lighter room, which is all these kind of snow paintings, which is uh, here. Interestingly, some of these paintings were made um, at the same time as these, as these dark paintings, and I'd originally intended that they be exhibited together, but that never happened, really. Um, we kind of separated them off, and... Uh, so as I say, it's a good chance to sort of bring, um, bring works that may have never um, been together, together. I think that's, maybe that's an exciting thing for all artists, all painters, is when they have that opportunity, really. Yeah, I just brought in some um, source material to show you. <laughs> it's a few days before the exhibition, and it um, might be interesting to see some, uh, how some of these paintings are, uh, evolve. Often, uh, Etchings are kind of uh, the, the the way that I, I, I can move from a photograph to a painting. An etching is an, an etching often um, predates the painting. Some photographs are just uh, actually that one kind of does relate to that one. That's a that's a dead pelican on a beach. And that's the horse that uh, is in the painting, the Grand Riviere painting. <laughs> it's an old horse, and they all seem to be surrounded by uh, vultures, getting ready for it to drop. Yeah, this was, uh, anyone who's ever been to Toronto or, Toronto or lived in Toronto would know this, uh, this tunnel. You see it off the edge of the highway as you're coming to the city. But then it gets graffitied and repainted, and the rainbow changes <laughs> meaning depending on, on, on who's painting it. This is kind of exp um, experimenting with this image for that Echo Lake painting, which is um, in the exhibition as well. Just uh, playing around the idea of echo and sound. And well, it's, it's a policeman standing on, a, on the shore of a lake. There's a police car behind him, and he's shouting out to the lake. Is someone drowning on the lake, or you think someone's drowning on the lake? So he's shouting out. So it's, it's it, it, the thing that interests me about the, um, the image is it's you know, you're, you're, you, the viewer, are actually in the middle of the lake and you're hearing the sound coming across water. It's rare that a painting doesn't start without source material or a photograph. But I never really think of it as an archive. <laughs> it's just stuff. The exhibition's all hung now. It's the day, of the, um, the day before the opening. Um, there's probably almost half the works, uh, even people who've seen a lot of my work in the UK won't have seen. So that's quite, I think, good for the public here. This painting, which is called Man Dressed as Bat, uh, is my most recent, well, one of my most recent paintings. Just finished it um, just a few weeks ago, actually. Um, started it last year and worked on it very slowly. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the actual marks on it came from natural causes, rain <laughs> coming into my studio. Some of, the, some of those marks were there before I started, and then I kind of allowed the painting to get wet during the making as well. And then I tried to use the paint in a very fluid way, um, not, not um, allow the paint to build up too much. I wanted it to be a kind of an ephemeral thing, and uh, I don't know, a painting you can almost kind of look, look through but it's the, most, it's the most recent painting and I don't really know where it will take me.
It's quite emotional, really. I mean, I think being amongst all this work, it makes me think about where I made the paintings, you know, the different places. The f f some of them are made in quite strange, uh, you know, studios, and not so, not so much the actual making of them, but as I say, where they were made. And that, to me, is um, not just make me feel nostalgic, but it just uh, it's a kind of journey in a way.